If you're a Bayonetta fan, there is some good news about the series going forward. So I love Bayonetta. I finished Bayonetta 3. I thought it was a great game. I've played every single Bayonetta game. One of my favorite series. And one thing that I always say about Bayonetta is it would be really cool to see this game come over to other platforms. I know the first one launched on the Xbox 360, but it'd be really cool to see it come over right now currently from Bayonetta 3 and Bayonetta 2 and see how this game can perform and look and all that type of stuff and how they can expand upon it with more powerful hardware. Or even if they release a Nintendo Switch 2, it would be great great to see what they can do from there but Bayonetta 3 a lot of people are thinking that that may be the end of the game the way that it ended a lot of people didn't like the ending but the entire game itself was really really good I really enjoyed it big boss battles over the top stuff what I love about it is it doesn't really take itself seriously and it just is super creative with the enemies and everything like that now Hideki Kamiya you know he's pretty controversial and we heard everything about the voice acting stuff, which seemingly ended up being a lie. And Kamiya has now commented on the series going forward, saying that he foresees this game lasting for a long time, as many as nine Bayonetta games. Says this, and this is in an interview with IGN Japan. He says, taking the Bayonetta IP as an example, I have a structure in mind for where the story is going to go far into the future. Players are only able to pass judgment on the story that they have at the moment. They'll say things like the series is going to end because the creators have no love for it. I want people to know that's obviously not how it is. I love Bayonetta more than anyone. How could I not love Cereza? And and all the other characters I fostered for this long. I want to make Bayonetta 4 and Bayonetta 5, and I intend on pitching them to the company. We often talk internally about how we could make nine of them. I want people who love Bayonetta series to believe me when I say I'm not going to do anything that will betray the player. So that's great to hear. I mean, going forward, we know that there is this Bayonetta prequel coming out for the Nintendo Switch, Bayonetta Origins. Cereza and the Lost Demon and it's coming out of March. They showed this off at the Game Awards and honestly watching this game, I had no idea what the hell was going on. I don't even know what this is about. Like it just seems like a, it's just an odd spin off of Bayonetta. Not really that interested in it, but hey, I probably will end up checking it out when it comes out and I hear more and just look more into it more because it is within the series and if it tells a good story, why not? But this is good to see because when it comes to Platinum games, you think about them and to me, it's like they are hit and miss. I mean, I like Platinum games a lot. I think some of the stuff that they make is great. Astral Chain on Nintendo Switch was an awesome game. And then you have a game like Babylon's Fall, which was just an absolute failure. So they, they put out a good game. They put out a bad game. They kind of go back and forth. It's not always great stuff. But Bayonetta has been good one through three. It's a franchise they know how to make and they know how to write. So why not continue making this game? I'm excited to see where this franchise and series is going to go going forward. And hopefully from Bayonetta 3 to Bayonetta 4, we're not going to have to wait as long. Or at the end of the day, I'd rather wait longer if it does come out on more powerful hardware or if it comes out on a Nintendo Switch 2. So, but if it's staying currently where it is right now with the Nintendo Switch, hopefully it's not as long before the next one comes out. But that's it for me, guys. Are you Bayonetta fans? What do you think about the series? What did you think about Bayonetta 3? And do you want to see more games going forward? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, you liked what you saw, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.